Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Uh, this time around, I got something pretty cool to show you guys. So, like we were cutting those short logs up there in that weird spot where we're yarding, I said we needed to make something to haul that wood out of there. So, I went and finally did it. I created, boom, the um, Kenworth self-loader with this tiny, cute little bunk on the back, which is perfect for exactly what we're going to do. Uh, so yeah, this episode, again, this guy's uh, still kind of in beta testing. It's not out or released yet, so we're going to fire up and uh, take her for a spin, try it out. Uh, my beta testing went exceptionally well when I was playing with it originally, so I figure let's time to bring it onto the stream and uh, take it for a, a real test. All right, so we're going to whip this guy up the hill, load it up. Should be pretty fun. And like I said, where we're cutting right now in that tiny little, uh, that tiny little zone, it's really hard to get a trailer and truck in there. So this guy is actually small enough. You can bring it up there, turn it around, do whatever you want. Now, I do have a hitch on the back of here, but I haven't actually created a trailer for it yet. Of course, that's at the time you're watching this video, so you never know. It's also kind of wobbly. i got to fix that, too. Play with the wobbles a bit. I guess it's probably because I have so much weight on that other truck for hauling that um, I probably could tone it down a bit on this one. But yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool little truck. Same body as the other one. We just added on the, uh, the kind of forwarder stuff on the back there so we can really load it up. This thing can really gun it up hills too, hey? Just gunning it. Actually, the last couple weekends I've... Uh, Really been able to hammer out some mods that I've been wanting to do so and then uh, coming up here soon You guys are gonna get to see another new machine that I'm very very excited to uh, Introduce Again, I'm not exactly sure when this stuff's gonna come out. So if by the time you're watching this it still isn't out I'm probably still working on it <laughs> So this episode we're going to go bring this guy down there and just do a kind of little bit of test loading I've also done a huge update um, Well, this will be out already, but I've done an update on all the machines so they're super duper heavier again, but I found a way to make it so they balance well. Um, if you're driving up anything above like a 65% incline, they can still slide back on you. So you got to be careful while you're uh, hauling and playing around. But um, for the yarder, as well as all the track machines, they just run so much better. It's going to be nice and easy here. So we don't drive off the cliff. We don't want that. Driving off cliffs is bad. All right, so let me get this guy down right in here. See, you wouldn't be able to do that with a regular truck and trailer. So then we can get right in alongside it. I'm just gonna move our uh, processor here just a little bit. Give herself a little bit of room. And this, um, that yarder, you know how we were struggling kind of with some of the, the big piles? This thing is so heavy now um, that you'll never see that problem again. <laughs> I was doing a test on a stream there, and I was just like, I couldn't believe how much stuff I could lock in there. It was crazy. So, I am a total noob when it comes to self-loading, so I'm just going to kind of treat it as if it's a forwarder. I just kind of park it next to it, I guess, and I guess we'll just see what happens. I made it so this, uh, the uh, cranes are adjustable. I had a gentleman on the stream who uses track IR, and he said he wasn't able to use it anymore because the, um... The thing was locked, so I actually went and changed it so that you could you could move the camera around for anybody who uses that kind of stuff. Well, these are kind of long, hey? I wonder if that's the... Oof, man, those are really long. I guess we'll have to knock down our size a bit. Let's go move that there a little bit. Knock down our size. We're cutting pretty long, long sticks here, so... This... Truck should actually be a little a lot less bouncy once we uh, oops once we get it loaded up there. Feels like I'm just using the forwarder. Same grapple, same stuff. There we go. Ooh, Ooh little tilty. It's a lot of weight. These logs actually weigh a crazy amount. There we go. Kind of leaning them towards the back a little here. I kind of cut them a little too long for this thing. 
I wanted to be able to do like kind of medium length. These these that I cut are not really medium length. They're more of a more of a heavy duty length. So we'll be cutting down on our processor there a little bit. We don't want to maybe make them this long for the future, but that's okay. It'll do for now. Oops, there we go. Oh, jeez. Ugh, I hate these little ones. Okay, we're not putting the little ones in there anymore. Because the little ones are ugly. Actually, we're just going to drop that one. I don't even want it in there. We can always put the little ones on top at the end or something. I feel like this is my first day loading. What's going on here? There we go. Beauty. So let's get these little ones out of here. I don't really want them. So let's get this big one. And then this one and this one. I should be able to get these three. Oh man, that's heavy. I can't remember what we were cutting to. I think these were like 7.9 or something. I don't know. I also, uh... Oops, oh my goodness. I also changed the um, processor length. So now they cut to even 0.5s instead of the weird 0.3s. So I had a lot of requests from people saying, I want it even, even numbers. So that's what you guys are getting now. Only the evenest of even numbers. Oops. I keep catching the side of that bank and turning my load here. There we go, let's try that. I was like, what the heck? In my side monitor, I can see this thing on the hill. I realize it's a crow up there. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? And what is it doing? Is there squirrels in this game? What's happening here? There we go. Oh, let's see here. So now we have two options. We can either take this whole load to the mill and sell it. Or we can use this truck to forward it closer to our other piles that we have set up up there already. And I think personally, I'll probably... Take this one to the mill just to test it out. I kind of want to see how it feels going downhill. Oops. Let's grab some of these ones. And I'm actually not going to take those tops. I don't really want them. They're kind of gross. They just mess up my load. Let's go like this. Boop. I'll lock it up. See how it turned out. Oh, that's not so bad. A little close on some of them, but that's okay. We can make that work. Oh, except for that weird one. That one I don't want anyway. It's a bad top. Can we pick that up? Oh, we can. Look at us. Superman. So let's take all of our tops. And we're going to check them over here. Bloop. We're also going to have to create a chipper. Form of a chipper anyway. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll figure that out. Okay. So that's locked up. Uh, let's see if we can... I wonder if we can turn around here. I oh, might have to back it up. Still a little tight quarters in here. Oh yeah, she handles a lot better already with that, uh, just having that extra load on there. Oops. I was gonna get a picture here, I actually forgot. I don't know, what would you do with this thing to make it look normal? Put it on top? <laughs> I never know what to do with the, uh, forward or grapple thingy. Sometimes it's a little weird. That's kind of a cool shot. Let's get that. Just peeking around the corner just to say hi. Yeah, that looks good. I'll take that. Alright, let's back this guy all the way out. I might uh, pick a little off these piles over here, actually, that we have. It's very. See how long these are? Like, they're so back. The back end is so long on them. It's crazy. So I would probably say it's more comfortable if you went with, if these are like a seven or eight, probably a six and a half would be the most you'd want to put on this. Yeah, it's about the same size here. But hey, let's uh, let's take the challenge here. Why not? We'll keep loading it up and see what happens. And we'll put this up here. Yeah, see, now if it was sixes or something, I could just drop them in there all nice and peaceful-like, but... Because it ain't, makes it a bit of a challenge. So we'll just get this group. 
Handles really nice though for like loading. Feels pretty comfortable. Should so probably drop those a little close. Well, maybe not. Just trying to make a like a full full load to take down the hill. This is good for my for my beta testing here. So see if we find any horrible issues while we're doing it. Back in, starting to get really heavy. I can see it starting to tailor back there. It's like, eh. truck doesn't like that. I could technically make a longer trailer if I really wanted to, but I wanted it to do shorts. Like, if I make it any longer, we're starting to just kind of become like a long logger now. So let's lock that up. There we go. Let's see if we can reach that far. Ooh. Just barely. It's a pretty cute little... Pfft. What is this? What is this? Let's get rid of this. There you go. Get out of my frame. You don't need to be in there, you piece of crap. That oh, looks pretty neat. Little load. Cute little load, eh? Alright, now let's see how it goes down the hill. That'll be the real tricky part. But yeah, she's very rear weighted. It's hard to even steer it. <laughs> so let's not use these for these style of uh, logs. I'm just having fun with it at this point. But at least you know you could do this size if you really wanted to. And it seems to be still hauling it. See, once you actually put weight on these things, it's kind of like real life. Um, when they're fully loaded, it rides the best because the suspension actually works really well when there's weight in it. Kind of like a three-quarter ton pickup. But when you take that out, it's really bouncy, right? It's kind of not super comfortable. Because these things are meant to haul. And for the suspension to be at its best, you have to have a, a load on it. That's just uh, the way she rolls. That's pretty good. Alright, so I'm just going to bring this down there. But we're not actually going to unload it or do anything. Because we have a, a fun unloading video coming up here soon. Probably won't be the next episode, probably after that. But we'll park it down in the mill for now and just leave it there. So now normally if you had the proper weight on this thing, like if the logs were not super, super long like I've put on here, um, it'll probably ride a lot less bouncy in the front end just because the weight's distributed better. Distributed better. But um, because we've loaded it so heavy to the back, the logs are so, or the logs are so long it... Uh, like I said, puts a lot of a lot of taper on that back end. Like I said, look how much overhang we have just on the back. That's not good. <laughs> not good at all, in fact. But you know what? It's working. We're getting it down the hill. So that's the key. So I wouldn't say half the length, but three quarters of the length of... Oh, oh my God. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Whew. Does that scare me? I thought we lost that one. I was like, oh, we're toast. There we go. That's better. All right. So let's go park this over here. My God, that was an adventure, wasn't it? That was an adventure and a half. All right. So I'm just going to park this right here for now. My God. It's amazing that it actually held. I figured it would just go back end up. But yeah, that's uh, you don't really want much longer than that for doing a load anyway. So let's go see what we got our processor set to. Actually, the lengths will probably be all screwy on this one still. I wonder if it resets. Oh, it doesn't. It's all right. 1.2. Oh, it did reset. Oh, I just had to go through them. Look at that. Huh. All right. Well, I thought I had to reset the processor. Okay, so those were a 7.9 or an 8 meter log. So let's go maybe a... Six and a half, I think, is the most I'll want to put on there. Maybe a six and a half. So we don't have any logs to pull, so let's let's move this over here. Now, what we're going to have to do is start bunching, I guess. So maybe we'll jump into that a little bit on this episode, because it's going to need to bunch in order to get the stuff up here. So where did we park our buncher? That's the real question. I think it's down at the very bottom somewhere. Now, climbing with the buncher is going to be a lot more... 
scary because it's going to slide back on us if we're not careful. And I made that... I was watching a whole bunch of videos of machines loading. And first of all, the reason I added all the weight to them was because I watched machines loading in real life and I realized... Um, God, I swear I put the buncher down here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Ha! Hidden buncher. Um... I realized watching them load that they don't bounce around like mine do. Mine are very bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And um, you have to put a lot of weight in the grapple to actually make these machines bounce in real life. Like a decent amount, right? Or really big trees. But I found even the smallest trees would make them rock back and forth, and I hated that. So I've added a crap ton of weight to them. Um, but I also watch videos of bunchers going up steep inclines, and you can actually watch the rollers slide, and the rollers start to kind of like back out like the brakes kind of let them go a bit and they'll start sliding back so then the operator has to drive ahead and back up and drive ahead and um, it just makes it more challenging so for instance on this kind of terrain like the, the the tracks will go up fine but if you let go you'll notice they start to kind of roll back a little bit I mean this is not great terrain because it needs to be steeper but see how they slide if you go back in reverse so just if you're gonna start bunching bunch straight and don't stop going straight or go on an angle so I would be like going on an angle like this that would be the better way to do it now um, where are we in conjunction to our landing here that's what I need to know oh the yard is over here okay so if we want a yard we gotta we gotta lay these trees down over this way so we're gonna go for a little hike here before we do anything and dig ourselves out a little hole so I think we're sitting... Where is our yarder? The yarder is... I think it's right on this knoll here. Yeah, so we can drop these anywhere we want in here. So let's put them right here just for fun. This will be our starting spot. And again, like, the buncher handles trees miraculously better now. Like, the weights are really good, so it feels really sturdy. And watching both inside the cab and outside of the cab, I realized the trees did need, or the machines needed to be a bit more sturdy. I still want them to move. Like, this is a heavy tree. Like, it, it should, it still has, like, a bit of a movement. But it's not enough to, like, annoy you and kind of screw up your grabs. So I just wanted them to be a little more beefy. Beefy is good. Oh, there we go. I have seen the light. So we're going to throw a few trees down here just to kind of get the party started. And we're probably going to run out of time. We'll have to go uh, continue on the next episode, but that's okay. It's good to get things rolling here. And then, once we start cutting, we'll uh, be able to do that. Get it all cleaned up. Get some loads out in a different, uh, different style there, which is good. Yeah, it's definitely fun messing with the physics on the machines and trying new things and the best is when I try new things and then I release it just to see how people like it. Some people will be like, oh, it's terrible, I hate it. And then other people will be like, it's the best thing ever. But I'm actually really happy with these machines because I've been loading with them now and bunching with them and playing with them. And they just react super well. See, like before when I had the yarder as light as it was, there's no way I could pull that now. No problem, I'll be able to bring that up the hill. No effort whatsoever. And now, as long as the buncher, my whole thought was the weight, as long as the buncher can still traverse this kind of terrain, like, sort of steep, that's good. But if you go up 90 degree inclines, I want you to slide back. I want your machine to backflip and fall down the hill. Because unless you have a winch attached to it, like reality, you shouldn't be able to climb up super, super steep inclines without having it come back on you, or at least be sketchy. I want it to be sketchy. I always felt like my machines were a little too unrealistic in that sense that you could just like climb up 90 degree hills with no problem. But I want them to be able to slip and slide and roll and twist and make it a challenge, you know? That's the that's the name of the game, make it a challenge. There we go. Beauty. Okay, so let's get two more trees and then we'll have to call it here. Two more. We'll get this one. And we'll drop you in here. Not to mention it's just so much easier to handle the trees, too. God, it was so annoying before. I think you guys will really like this update. Well, by the time you're watching this video, you're using this update, so I hope you really like it. If not, I will have reverted back to the other way because you all hate it. <laughs> no, I think you guys will like it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here. 
Because if not, I'll get stuck in bunching, bunching addiction mode here. I'm just going to leave this kind of propped up on an angle. Sure, why not? Yeah, so then we'll just kind of keep going up. I'm going to clean out all of these trees here to make kind of a nice little landing. And then we'll have to do the same thing again where we double back down, drop, cut across, drop, cut across, drop, and kind of do a zigzag pattern down the hill. That'll be the best way to keep kind of conformity. And then we'll just keep bringing the logs up here and cutting them up and test out our sizes and see what fits on the truck best. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.